Mina, Gumbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, back with more Job. We're going to go in chapter 40 today, and once again, God just kind of lowers the hammer on Job, um, just showing him how weak he is. In the last one or two messages, I've, ta I've talked about, or rather God has talked about, how there's a lot we do not know. There is a whole lot we do not know. There's a whole lot we will never know this side of heaven. Um, if we've even gotten to 1%, that would be amazing. But not only is there a lot we don't know, there's a lot we cannot do. We're quite powerless as human beings. There's a word called autonomous, and I'm not, I, I'm not sure if it's philosophical or scientific. I'm not sure which category it is, but there's a term called autonomous, and that would mean a being who is completely independent of any aid or help and they are self-existent. They exist in and of themselves with no help and no need of anything outside of themselves. And it, it's obvious to anyone of any faith, of any creed, of any religion or non-religion that humans are not autonomous. We were born um, via a mother and father. We, do not, we did not come into existence of our own being. To, to, in order to keep on living, we need to breathe, eat, drink, sleep. There are four things that we need in order to continue living. Um, and, and that's also taken into consideration. We need a, a correct temperature. Otherwise, we'll burn up or we'll freeze to death. We <laughs> There are many, many diseases that can end our lives. There are many animals that can end our lives. There, there are diseases we cannot conquer. There are physical catastrophes we cannot prevent. And then there's ultimately death itself. So, we will at one point cease to be in this world, in our current existence. We do not choose our beginning, we do not choose our ending, and there's much in the middle that we also cannot choose. We are incredibly far from being autonomous, as God essentially says in Job chapter 40, verses 8 through 14. God speaking to Job, Would you indeed annul my judgment? Would you condemn me, that you may be justified? Have you an arm like God, or can you thunder with a voice like His? Then adorn yourself with majesty and splendor, and array yourself with glory and beauty. Disperse the rage of your wrath. Look on everyone who is proud and humble him. Look on everyone who is proud and bring him low. Tread down the wicked in their place. Hide them in the dust together. Bind their faces in hidden darkness. Then I will also confess to you that your own right hand can save you. There is so much that we cannot do, guys. There is so much that we not only cannot know, there's so much that we cannot do. We're incredibly limited, finite beings. And God is way, way, way out of our league. To say the very, very least. There are many things in this world and in this universe that are completely out of our league. So you want you want to complain about, or you want to boast about how great you are, or complain about how life is hard and unfair, I'll say, if you don't believe in God, all I can say is that that's a crying shame. You have no one and nothing to turn to in your weakness. And for those of you who do believe in God, don't be proud, don't boast, and don't complain too much. The God who can do all these things is on your side, and he will help you out if you will only ask him. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you. God bless.